Hey guys, Tony Scongilli here with the Shuri Unlock video. Shuri is the legendary support unlock character and fifth member of the Wakandan team. A team Foxnex has described as the greatest raid team yet. I already went ahead and cleared through stages one through four because the meat and potatoes, the unlock itself, isn't until tier five. And hopefully, after watching this video, You'll have an idea of what it takes to clear tier 5, so fights to run through 4 shouldn't be any problem at all. And just to chill out and pad the runtime a little bit, I'm going to be playing this in 1x speed, and I'm going to be slowly clicking through all dialogue so everyone can kind of experience the fight as if they were doing it themselves. My Spider-Verse team is way overpowered for this fight. A team of about 100,000 power should be adequate to beat it, but I'm still gonna put them in the placement I recommend for this fight, keeping the two Spider-Men in the back, Venom dead center, and the two major damage dealers to each side. And I'm still gonna make sure I select the targets intelligently. So let's get ready and begin. So the fight begins, and much like all of the 5 star unlocks, you get at least a character to help you. In this fight you get Shuri herself, so you can get a little bit of gameplay with her, and apparently an M'Baku, which is going to be really helpful since you don't have any tanks. Let's use Shuri's abilities early, make sure we get that taunt up immediately, and get to work on this glowing god tier killmonger. Here I'm going to put Disrupt on Merc Riot Guard to make sure I can target down the other two characters without worrying about having a high block taunt character on the field. And you may have noticed, Killmonger's mask has already been knocked off, which doesn't really mean anything, but it's kind of fun. We'll clean up the smaller characters as fast as we can to make sure Carnage gets that speed meter and let those bleeds get to work on that character. It's not super relevant to waste any major moves now, especially because there's 12 people attacking. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack sparingly with basics right now. No one is really a threat. And uh oh, it looks as if the drop down of the wave is triggered based on time, not based on kill. So pay attention to how quickly you're doing damage to the characters and which characters are left. So the first wave to drop down is Iron Man, War Machine, both with Death Proof, thanks to the passive, Merc Lieutenant, and Hawkeye. The priorities differ a little bit, but as Green Goblin has a chance to remove buffs from random characters, it's probably best to just CC as many characters as we can and pick off the low ones as we go. Well, Merc Lieutenant is the highest priority target here, I'm pretty much just going to work as hard as I can to get everyone low in level, keep charging up that Carnage turn meter, and utilizing this AoE chain to kill as many of them as I possibly can. That represents the most kills Mbaka will ever get. We have two left on the current wave, but the next wave will have a six character drop. So let's just use our characters to the best, not waste any ultimates yet, and hope the next and final wave is not a complete and total nightmare. Oh look, a complete and total nightmare. Full Wakandans raid team, replacing Killmonger with two Winter Soldiers. I'm going to go ahead and slow down Black Panther just to reduce the amount of assists and turns he may take here. 
M'Baku and Shuri would also be valid targets. Here we might as well take advantage of Spider-Man's special we've been saving, so I'm going to target a character as far away as I can and hope he chains to everyone. And here's where we start to see the strength of the Wakandan teams. When they get rolling, they pretty much don't stop. And bringing up the rear, back-to-back -back Winter Soldier Ultimates. The good news is, they both targeted Venom, who is most likely the most tanky member of any Spider-Verse team. So, we'll take advantage of the fact that we don't need to three-star this fight to unlock her, and start picking off the characters as we can. Since we already got Black Panther down, the next highest priority is Shuri and Mukoye, so we'll just work them down, use the specials we can to give us a little bit more sustain, and continue to pick off the characters. It's time for Green Goblin to shine. Let's see how much damage he does. One kill, but he brought two characters low enough to give Carnage some extra turn meter. Now we're gonna just finish off the fight. And after a good chain here, that's all she wrote. We can basically auto fight our way to victory, but that's not fun. So let's just watch the finale. I'd like to take an opportunity to use her heal, but since Venom is heal blocked, it just showed how many times he might have been healed. And with one good chunk, that's it. Shuri unlocked all of the rewards for clearing up to her in your possession. You should have enough gold just from getting this far to unlock her and bring her up relatively decent high. I assume I'll get her to level 40 just to show up where her abilities are, but we'll see after this cutscene. After this, it's just going to be a Shuri show and tell, so... Feel free to do that like, comment, subscribe thing now if you're not interested in seeing what someone else's Shuri looks like. Now I'll choose level 40 just because I don't have that much gold right now. And I want to make sure I can get all of her abilities and gear up to at least gear tier 7, you know, 4, 3, 3, 2. And as with any 5 star character, she's probably going to scale a little bit better than any of your other Wakandans you have at 2 or 3. Here we can take a quick look at her abilities. Well, she's probably not going to be optimized until 6664, we can kind of see where her abilities become optimized. At level 6, she always applies heal block. Her instant upgrade will apply defense up to everyone for 2 turns. At level 5, and 6 is the guaranteed 2 random ability energy. This is probably the ability you want to get to 6 first, if you have the opportunity, or if you're short on materials. As far as her ult goes, you can see that at level 5, she will heal four times, and at level six, she only increases the amount. But at orange gear, or ability level rather, she will heal five times. And her passive, that's what makes this team the rate team. 
absolutely worth investing orange materials in. And that's it for Unlocking Shuri. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to comment below or come on in and hang out on twitch.tv slash Tony